Hello everybody, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more CK3 Princes of Darkness playing as the Wounded Ma'atkare. The ruler of Mahreb. Um, so I have decided we're going to continue going for just a couple more episodes with this particular series. I do think for the most part we're starting to run out of steam. It's becoming increasingly a rinse and repeat. Now that I understand how to use a lot of the vampire powers, that's pretty fun. But, um, really, we've kind of reached a point where we've snowballed sufficiently that I don't think we're in that much danger. Now, that said, I, I wouldn't say we're completely out of the woods here. Wow, you look just absolutely evil. Um, it's not completely out of the woods because we have discovered that uh, even the fact that I have a huge levy compared to everyone else around me, 8,000, only gets you so far if you don't have a lot of knights to back it up. It's really ridiculous how unbelievably good some of those have become as of late. I actually had um, a viewer uh, send me some information as far as, like, one of their personal experiences with um, using some knights. And in their particular case, the knights had something like, oh, what was it, 16 knights killed like 2,700 people or something like that? More than anyone else in their army combined? It was, like, ridiculous. If you can stack up that knight effectiveness, it's really good. And just that much better if you're playing in this mod where knights are already OP as frick. So yeah, that's a fun thing. Um, this is gonna be a very easy war, and I don't think we really need anywhere near this many people. So I'm actually looking to disband a few groups and stop costing me quite so much money. I still stand by money being one of the worst parts of this particular mod, only because, I don't know, in, in any sort of a civilization builder, right, as you ramp up, you should be increased. Yeah, your expenses increase, but your income is constantly increasing, blah, 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 right? Like that's. That's how you really gain a lot of power. Okay, these guys actually were a little bit stronger than I thought they would be. What's the problem? It's that I have only two of my knights. See what I'm talking about with knights right there, by the way? Even numbers. But because I brought in two knights versus their seven, despite my advantage in numbers, we almost lost that. I need to be very careful when I'm splitting up my armies and getting rid of some. Make sure I don't get rid of the champions. I need those. Anyway, yeah, you're supposed to be constantly building up. And uh, getting a larger and larger economy in order to support more and more expenses. In my case, I'm doing a really good job of building up my levy, but I can't afford the power base that I've built up. And it's not as obvious how exactly you're supposed to build that up. I'm sure people have said in the comment section, you know, some stuff as far as what they recommend. I'm obviously making it, but could it be better? I think so. I think it could be more obvious, really, what is the right approach and what is going to make you some solid income to build up on, I think. Uh, all right, so we got some folks that are probably going to want some titles. Uh, let's see if we can find a good person who is of my religion and my culture group, at the very least. You seem pretty solid. Yeah, you look good. You got good stats across the board. Tell you what, you get this one. Have fun. Bye. You get to become my new vassal. We have a little bit of income to work with. I could create some duchy titles and try handing some of this off, but meh. Meh. Uh, there's a lot of more people that we want to go attack. So my goal in the next two videos, even if I have to use utilize jump cuts to do it, is to get enough territory that I can form the Empire of Maghreb, which basically means I need to eat the rest of Africa and start pushing down into the Sahara. This gets really easy once I get to Kawar, because I can use a Holy War Kingdom title with this and take a ton of land in one really big war. But I have to get down there first, which, you know, doable. Uh, but I also need a lot of income, and that becomes one of the issues. Income is a little bit harder to come by. How stronka is this person? 3,010 knights. That's the real kicker. You got 10 knights. Right. So I could go for the Duchy of Tunis, and I probably will. I think that's going to be the best way to go. All right, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this war next as well. Uh, this time we actually probably do want to bring along almost all of the armies. Let me go ahead and bring you guys and raise you all up in the back line a little bit over here, though. We're going to actually do this. Let's make sure we do it right. Demonstration of leadership. Gain some martial lifestyle experience. Uh, or expected figurehead. Holding up Tlemcen gets levy reinforcement rate or make a duke like me, who already loves me. Well, free recruits are free recruits, and I'll take it. Thank you very much. Home. Oh. Hi! Look who's coming to say hello! Okay, that's cute. Uh, I'm gonna go and siege down your baronies and stuff. I mean, we fought you before, and you were actually really difficult to deal with. But now, 
now I can just kill you. So how many knights you got there? Ten? Compared to my one? Yeah, see this army right here? Very, oh, ah, very vulnerable. This is what I was talking about, very vulnerable. That's why I needed to send some reinforcements. And I've got, oh, okay, they gave up. That's good, that's good. Hang on, so you head over, oh, over here now. You stay at this barony. We're gonna use this army to ward them off. I think the AI has figured out what I'm doing. Now we're just gonna stare at each other. That's good. Also, just got some additional taxes. Huzzah! No, oh, this is very good. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, you, you, you stay where you are. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, oh, he's coming for me. He realized that he could outrun me really well. Um. Yeah, I need to catch up to you quick. Oh, frick. The game... The game straight out lies when it talks about how, Oh, you're very likely to win. It doesn't take into account in this mod that knights are just that much more important. The good news is... We arrive in time regardless, even in the fight out. I have better counters, and even though most of my levy is injured and running away, we're gonna be all right. So, um, yeah, you, you, can, you can just back it on up now and go ahead and reinforce or something for a little bit. Helping hands, a scheme to get a hook on this person. Oh, right, I was trying to force you to leave me alone. Uh, gain some stress because I am zealous? Well, we could do that. Um, 81% chance I get Pious Contact, which gets me Scheme Chance, but then I get 40 Stress. I don't think I need the Pious Contacts. I think we'll just go ahead and say forget it. Uh, captured some folks. Well, we can go ahead and Ransom you for 25 gold. I'll take it. This is... Oh! Dangerous, 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 dangerous. Keep nearby, keep nearby. Where are you going? You going over here? That's right, he's getting into the water. Okay, we pushed him into the sea. He's fleeing for his life. This is great. We could use some powers to try and boost this up. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should try spawning an army for my next war and just see what happens. Maybe it's really good. Oh, God. I thought for a second you were about to jump on me. All right, well, you get this one. Okay, thank you. It's not like the actual war goal or anything, but, yeah, whatever. Okay, now you go here, you go here. Another faction has been created against me. Algiers is under siege. Uh, Crown Authority. There are a lot of people who have the audacity to claim that they should be able to get rid of my Crown Authority. Well, let's gain a weak hook on this person at the cost of some prestige. This is actually one person that I want to get rid of. Uh, we've been working on trying to get a claim against you to try to have a legal justification to take the title away. I don't even know if that works, honestly. That's something I read that people were saying, Oh, you can do this! I've never actually tried it, though, so maybe it's a lie. We can siege down this third barony over here. So they're gonna get one, but I'll get three. And they're not gonna be coming after me anytime soon, I don't think, so... This'll be fine. And in the meantime, hey, more prisoners, more whatever, right? We are about to get a chivalry focus boost here, so that'll be nice. In just a moment, anyway. There's the martial lifestyle perk. So, do we want this? Reduce the risk of commanding armies. I could do all that, blah, blah, blah. But we talked about getting dread, and I think I stand by the need for dread. Because having zero, I think, is one of the big reasons that we even have these darn liberty factions constantly building up. I need people to be afraid of me. Like you. You need to be afraid of me. All right, so we got their capital. That's 100%. We could just end it right now. Maybe. Um, I don't suppose you're worth any money. No? Okay. There's another one. Rip this person apart. That's great. What can we do to get some serious dread? Torturing people would be great. I'm already wounded, so I take no loss out of that, even though the odds were heavily in my favor to be fine. find that annoying. Six members instead of seven. That's good. Um... Who else in my territory? This duchess is my friend, I thought, but she's constantly a problem. I'm really glad that I'm using some of these friends, though, very effectively. Let's try to befriend you as well. 77% chance we can be friends. I like that idea. I think that'll be good. Still nothing useful there. Put my diplomatic skills to the test. Easy win. Guarantee success. Oh, good. We get some money and another prisoner. Siege of Algiers lost. Doesn't matter. I end the war. Bye. All right, disband. Now, this is probably actually a pretty good um, duchy. 
that I might even wish I could keep for myself, but alas and alack, I don't think that's going to be an option for me. So let's find some more characters who could be good. Preferably people who are going to be a loyal. Um, we are having issues where too many of my vassals, in my opinion, uh, have too much martial skill and have enough levy to be a threat. I'd rather choose somebody like, let's say, my granddaughter, and we'll give you, let's say, both of these counties in order to have someone with good stewardship actually giving me some dang taxes. I feel like I would benefit from that. In the meantime, I don't know. We'll give you one. And we'll give someone else one. How about you? You'll be fine. Doesn't really matter too much. Ideally, my granddaughter's gonna get enough money together she forms a title on her own. All right, so there we go. Get a couple more vassals that I'm going to have to work with. And anything else exciting here? No. So, claims coming up soon. I want the personal domain holding because it just means I'm that much more powerful. And the reason we chose to take this one is because whoever holds this title has constantly been a thorn in my side for a long time with a thousand levy. They're actually dangerous. The thing is, these factions, like it's scary how much levy they've got, but the real threat is all of them bringing their knights. If all of them bring knights, I could be in serious trouble. Someone is trying to steal my secrets. Fight it. My mind's been breached. Okay. Well, I don't think I have any secrets, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. But, let's be aware that that is a potential issue. Uh, so let's see. We're trying to befriend you. Uh, I can't sway you at the same time. Who else could we try to be persuading to like me? Go ahead and start swaying you, I guess. There's no reason not to always be doing... Wait. Why did I cancel... I'm sorry, you can do a befriend scheme at the same time, guys. Well, apparently not. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to do a sway and a befriend scheme at the same time, but no longer that is the case. Alright, fair enough. Infiltrators, take this gold. No. Not gonna spend my valuable money. You know how hard it is to come by cash? Good old fashioned gold? It's really hard. My prisoner died in my dulgens. Who? Who's, who's that? Mm -hmm. Spouse engaged in army. My husband has given me a levy size plus 10%. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a really good way to reduce that discontent. That's right, you go and crawl back into your holes. You crawl back into your holes, you little cockroaches. All right, Psychic Invasion again? Who keeps doing this? Okay, my mind is my own. You fail. You suck! And I hate you! Thank you, Chewy, for introducing me to that. That's been fun so far. Still pushing forward here at Speed 5. I know we can do some more war, but in just a minute, I'll be able to go ahead and do... This is Faith. We're converting Faith. Oh, dang it. Well, you know what? Do I gain Dread? No, I just gain an Act of Tyranny. And it's still unlikely that he would accept. And if he doesn't accept, it means he triggers a faction. Okay, we're not actually getting the claim that I wanted against this. But maybe I can do something against you. We could imprison you. He's a known criminal. There you go. But if we did this, he'd rise up with all other disgruntled vassals, which is obviously a bit of a problem. That said, if he did rise up, we could just revoke the territory from all these folks. And we already know they're all too weak to send any ultimatums, apparently. <sighs> if we could just get a couple more folks out of these factions, I'd feel a lot happier about this. What claims you got? You got a claim on Maya. Mm. Okay, well, we managed to convert something. That's great. Um, I need you to fabricate a claim. Two years? It's going to take two years to do that? Ugh. Fine. Can we go kill you? Yes, you've got a single county that I've decided I want. Um, I'm going to raise all men at arms. And I'm hoping this is honestly going to be enough. It's not. But, by doing it in this order, all of my elites are in one super fighting... Okay, all my knights are in one really good spot. I don't know, maybe we actually can do this. I mean, it's even-ish numbers. You got eight knights compared to my 11, and I've got significantly better counters and everything else. Yeah, we don't need anything more than this. It's fine. Go kill him. See? There we go. Having the elite troops is worth it. Oh, and we immediately win because we captured the sucker. How much money are you worth? 25 ducats? Eh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't you worry. 
And we can also ransom you for another 25. Haha! -ha! Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now I don't have as much war score. I've only got 50% because I crushed his army. But now I have money with which I can try to form an empire. Or take another kingdom title. I don't know. Doink! Did I just take another per- Okay, we got him. We got, we got some more hostages. This is great. This is very good. Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Captured all of them successfully. And we can ransom you for another 25. Oh my god! All right, the little horn went off, which means people are like, please end this war. Fine, fair enough. Um, this is part of this. Do I dare give you more territory? Answer's no. If I make you have too many counties, some of these dukes can become too powerful. Unless you're my friend. He's not my friend. Okay, I'm going to start the befriend scheme on you. Because you've got three top holdings, which makes you fairly strong if done correctly. Right, anyway, um, who is a character that I don't really care too much for? How about... You. You can have this one. Have fun. And once that person forms the duchy title, hopefully, you'll be no longer a problem. Found the holy order. I couldn't do these things, but I don't need to do it, so I'm not gonna do it. Gabe! Hi, Gabe! Uh, I could take your count- your duchy, or whatever. Do you own Tripolitania? No, this is an ally. I don't care about your allies. You can have allies if you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take two of these. I mean, it costs me just, you know, the same basic amount. Uh, you actually got enough armies to be a threat. Ooh, wow, we're raising up four separate armies now. Oh, good, that means I can pay all the money. Watch my income plummet. Ugh. All right, let's see. Um, these guys, for some reason, got the... Okay, hang on. You both go here. Okay. You, back him up. You, go here. And that should be enough. No, no, he's gonna go and siege down. Bir Amir. No, not Bir Amir. Whatever shall do with Bir Amir. Doesn't matter, it's fine. All right, we got plenty of troops over here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and group you all up so you're one big happy family. We've actually got some stuff to counter them now. Befriend, a gesture of generosity. Oh, boy. How about a cheap gift? I don't want to spend the money on you, but I mean... If this guy is, in fact, going to become a duke, and I strongly suspect he will... Getting him on my side's worth. This faction continues to grow. I don't like seeing seven members. That's so many knights that I have to deal with. My levy will get crushed unless we have overwhelming as heck force. All right, there's some extra cash for me. Let's go down to Tripolitania and send some reinforcements, just in case. Took a prisoner. Is it somebody we can ransom? No, so we don't care. I will rip this person apart! Now what shall I do with you? Well, if I can't ransom you, maybe I should eat you. Wait, I can ransom her. Never mind. Ten gold. Thank you. That'll work. Dangerous faction. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's things like the peasants and stuff. These vassals can't join factions, which is great. That's 100%. Honestly, I say we just go ahead and peace out now. Why take any more losses? Disband. Doink. And this duchy is very small, so one person can have both. I need a good character, preferably with really good stewardship. This Baroness is okay. Probably better than many of my other options. Fine. Nope, I can't give you the title. All right, this one will have to do then. You take both. There you go. Double count. Have fun with that. So, let's see. Peasants, peasants, peasants. Can send an ultimatum in 11 months. Most likely will do so the second they think that my guard is down. Which it never is! I'm always paying attention. Always. Hi, invisible hat. Floating turban man. How are you? Uh, a countess. Wait, are you of my fa- <gasps> I can't use holy wars on this person! Because they're of my faith! Ooh! We're officially getting to the point where we're meeting other Settites. That's actually going to make my life really difficult once I eventually do get down here to Egypt. Right? Well, which we're not going to do in this series. But if I got all the way to Egypt to take over Egypt, you know, for the sake of Set, can't use Holy Wars. It's going to be a heck of a lot harder to make that work. All right, so this actually requires real claims. Hmm, like a big boy. Fine, fair enough. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Um, you, right. Yes, you. Who are you? These people. This is the county I want specifically. Nothing else here really matters. So I think I take that one. 
You've got two allies way down here. Hmm. I think what I do is declare the war and then call in my ally using my prestige and he... Where the heck have you gone? Gone has been broken apart to all heck. Look at this. Look at this. It's all... Oh my god, it's disgusting. Well, you don't have nearly as many troops. What you can do is be a punching bag while I figure out what to do. There. Have fun with that. Sucker. Of course you will join. Mwahaha. What about some of these people? Oh, hi. Yeah, you're my neighbor, the one I was just talking about killing. I could call you in. Would lose me some renown. Hmm. You know what? I do it. Because at this point, renown is expensive. What about you? You don't have much. All right, forget you. We don't care about that person, though. No. But there we go. Yep, allies join the war. There we go. There we go. The floating turban now is on my side. How can we possibly lose? Where are you all going? No, like, for real, though. Where actually are you all going? Do you want to explain yourselves? Where's the barony? This one right here. That's the one. Uh, okay. So, you... And you, you're gonna be my elites. We're gonna head down over here. And we're gonna go and see if we can intercept their troops and actually fight them. One group for sieging, one group with all the knights and the best troop quality, goes forth and kills. An acquaintance is dead. You know how many acquaintances I've had at this point? End your scheme, we are friends. Hooray! That means this Count cannot join any factions against me. But someone else has created a faction. Mm, seven months until Peasant Rabble. We know that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a thing. So, we should be gaining some dread. Um, a woman's home. Control territory to advantage. Blah, blah, blah. Army maintenance. This is huge. Don't care about mercenaries. This could be good. In a way. Absolute control. Absolute control is actually really good. It means if you have 100 control, you get extra tax and levy. And ideally, we're pretty much always at 100% control. That's the idea, right? So, it's pretty helpful. I don't think I need to help you guys with any of your control, though. I think you guys are pretty much fine as is. We're spending a lot of money in this war. And this is going to continue to only get worse and worse as time goes on. More opinion with that count. That's great. You'd think that he would leave the faction, but no. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go for this freaking war goal. Um, so, Ghana, how you doing down here? I don't know. Your troops are all kind of wandering off somewhere. It looks like you might be getting murdered. Yeah, you looks like you got murdered. Brilliantly done, buddy. Brilliantly done. So proud of you. Very proud. All right, so this will fall pretty quick. The only reason I'm grabbing this is so I can easily go for a um, kingdom war down here if I want. Captured somebody. Cool. A court chaplain. Mm-hmm. Could ransom you for 50 gold. I will do that. Much as I hate to lose war score, 50 gold is uh, 50 gold. And me likey. Let's see. There's nothing really to siege down here, but we can move down in this direction. 43% war score. I mean, if we can siege down these and get over to your uh, capital and take that down, you're pretty much dead. And there's the peasants. All right, we'll take some attrition loss, and I'm all right with it. You guys, since they appear to have just disappeared, turn around and get up here to Tangiers. It's going to take a long time to get there, but whatever. Just work on it. Go kill some peasants. Okay, what else, what else, what else? We can ransom a Countess. 25? Sure. This buys me an extra month of war. Uh, there it is. Claims. Got it. Alright, we have a claim against this guy that I hate. Which hopefully means I have a just reason to do this. We're gonna see if that works and doesn't cost me any tyranny. I don't know if that's the case, but that's the goal. If you guys hold off just a little bit, we won't take any attrition losses because we're about to win this siege. Just need to wait a month. Ghana's marching around doing his thing. These guys are only just now starting to arrive in my territory. My dynasty friend has only just started to arrive. You guys... Group up and go here. You... 
Go over here. We got nine gold out of that. Oof. Look how fast I'm running out of money. Hey, we're done with this. Good. Enforce demands. Bye. You guys need to get back into my territory and then disband. These guys still need to go deal with the peasants. Okay. So that's one more county in my cap, so to speak. Who shall I give it to? You. Nope. You. Get it. Thank you. Okay, so now we've got the borders with Kawar, which means they can take over a huge chunk of the Sahara. And with a huge chunk of the Sahara, there is a much better chance that I will be able to form my empire. Because right now we are at 54 out of the 72 de jure counties required. I don't think conquering the rest of Africa in and of itself is enough. Fighting the Sea of Shadows would certainly be an option, but they are quite strong at the moment. Quite stronger. Can you guys go any freaking faster? Can any of you guys disband now? I'm bleeding cash so freaking fast. Even with war taxes, this does me no good. Our armies are too big. <sighs> I wish that it was easier. I don't. There's got to be a way to raise only partial levy. You used to be able to do things like that in CK2. There's probably a way to do it in CK3 as well. I just don't know what it is. Gosh, I'm just bleeding the frick out of my treasury. I hate that. Ugh. Normally, by this point of the game, when I have this many kingdoms and I'm about to form an empire, I should be making something like 20 or 30 gold per month. All right, we got manorialism. I don't know what that is. Sounds exciting. Hey, wait, are we in the next era? We are! We're in the high medieval era. Ah! Okay. What is manorialism? This one. We get building construction time reduction. Oh, yay. Because that's definitely what I need. Uh, the peasants appear to have risen up by a lot. They are revolting, uh, and there are a lot of them. But they don't have any knights, which means we should shred through these guys. Yeah, seven versus zero knights. We actually can take a look here and just see how, how effective this really was. Yes, yes, so be it. Blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look at this. Details. Knights. Seven knights killed 1,700 people. That's how good the knights are in this case. You get the point? So you guys actually all need to go here because I am wondering if we're about to run into a bit of a problem here. Let's take a look at you. Revoke title. I have a claim. It is not tyrannical and I can use a hook, but it's not enough. Better option, imprison this guy. 30% chance because he's a criminal so I can do that. It'd be a lot easier to win this if I can, in fact, just take him prisoner and then I can take the province away because, well, I have a claim on it. We need a much better commander than this. Let's put my hub-hub in charge. Hub-hub good. Hub-hub strong cut. So, imprisonment? I have a hook. 30% chance. Ugh. How big's the faction? Eight people. Mmm. 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 We've managed to get some people to abandon it. <sighs> I've got 10,000 levy. I don't think I can raise all of them right now, but yeah. I think we have to just go for it and pray that this works. Whoops. Let's hope. 30% chance. Please. Just, just accept it. Wow! He accepted it. I revoke your title. Mine now. Disband the troops. And now, I have four out of four domain within my duchies. I don't remember the last time I asked for something like that and it worked. Um... So, I can't build a palace here? That's because it's a duchy building. Right. 
So taking this over is not going to let me build out a new duchy building, which makes sense. The blood tax would let me get some extra income, and I think I have to go for that. Even though I know it's going to upset people, I think we have to. So I'm only making 10 gold. Despite the fact that I now have 4 out of 4 holdings, I'm still making nowhere near enough income. Yeesh. Well, let's go ahead and start building up control. I lost control of Tangiers, and that's a big part of why I don't have enough money anymore. Some factions are being disbanded. Looks like the peasants are gone. Good. Independence faction. There's only one person who wants to break free. Like Freddie Mercury, and they're not going to get to. You, I'm going to start swaying. Because I'm very good at it. I'm just so good looking. The rest of you guys? Don't really care. Low county control in Tangiers, duly noted. Disabled building in Tangiers for some reason. This one, the subtle merchant's influence. I don't know why it's disabled, but it is. I had almost enough money to become the freaking emperor, and now I can't. And we all know that if I want to go and fight against Karar, a war that I almost certainly can win, they're just dukes, they're not even kings, I will spend so much money just keeping my levies going, it's barely going to be worth it. You have no troops. You're being killed by somebody. I don't know who, and I don't care. I'm going to move my flag right there. And I'm going to kill you. Because Border Gore is ugly. Raise him at arms! There you go. See? You guys are all going to fight over there. But joke's on you. I'm going to sneak right in here and see if I can take this. A secret was exposed. He's a fornicator. As a vampire, do I care? Low blood tax has been constructed in Melilla. Get me a little bit of extra income. Thank God. Could spend some money building things like temples of Set. Could go for our classic uh, influence in the underworld, but at the cost of 200 gold, that's still just a lot. Burgers, open rule, remote haven, blah, blah, blah. Chapter houses, noble family retainers. No. So, someone else is coming back home, and we're now going to come kill you. I love, by the way, that you draw your sword when you go into a fight like this. Like, your characters know they're about to fight, and they just draw it right out of the scabbard. It's awesome. So, I don't know who this guy is that we're killing. The Duchy of something-something. I think it's whoever this duke probably is. No, I have no idea who it is. This person. This person wanted to conquer this. Well, sucks to be you, because I'm taking it. We got some extra sway. Okay. Undisciplined recruits. I will happily take the extra martial lifestyle experience, since it already takes forever. Advice was rejected by a baroness, and now I'm angry because she didn't trust me. Oh, you're coming into suicide again, eh? Ah, oh, have fun with that one. Look at that. That didn't go well. Oh, look at that. You lost your entire levy, and now you're dead. You're dead! Who said they were smart? They're not smart. They're not smart at all. Oh, another person coming in for the run! Here he goes! Thank you! Think of those details. Yeah, once again, the knights by a long shot do the most damage. Their knights do the most damage to me, too, though. It's just about... Oh, God, is this the... We need to end this now. We need to end this, like, now, now. We need to end this, like, now, now, now. Ha, 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 ha. Wait, no, no, what, 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 I enforce demands! Dang it! We're now, we're now defending this because you also had declared this war. Gosh, dang it. Um... So <laughs> hoping to avoid this. All right. Well... You get this. Have fun. So... Yeah, we're fighting a holy war here. Sounds like I might need to raise a few more levies. And bring in the buddy boys. I mean, you have... What? Ten champions. You're fighting in terrible terrain. I mean, it looks like we're gonna win this regardless. We're just gonna go ahead and march in over here and crush this. How's that? Wait, did they break free? I'm confused. 
No, you haven't broken free, but they're showing it differently on the map. It's no longer showing itself as the Sea of Shadows. Weird. Disband this, don't spend the money. Disband these, don't spend the money. I think the, it really is the way to go. Make sure you raise up your men-at-arms first so you can control which armies are trash levies and which ones are not. All right. Culture discovered the Arched Saddle. Yep, which increases... Nope, we have Armored Horsemen as the new men-at-arms. Okay. I think all I have to do is win this siege. I know we're over our time, so I want to end this here pretty soon. But let's see if we can win this pretty quick. Nine months. He might get one siege off on me, but... I mean, we should be able to get rid of this pretty quick. I don't want to end this. At least we're not bleeding a lot of cash. That's the good news. Martial lifestyle. What would we go for? Do we continue working toward things like hard rules so we can get more dread? How much dread do we have? We've got 10, so it should be going up a smidge, or at least it would be, if it weren't for the fact that I'm still wounded. You know something we can do? Find a physician. And the reason we find a physician isn't because I'm going to get sick. So we have someone who can treat me. You're okay. Yeah, you're the best. We'll spend some money and we'll bring you in my court. There we go, we have a court physician. Actually, wait, does a court physician help with wounds? Obviously sickness, but do they help with wounds? I may have just wasted the money for no reason there. Maybe. Okay, so that's 59% war score. Time to go on some killing sprees. We have superior quality troops. This is my chance to just go ahead and get some damage in on these guys. As well as weaken the Sea of Shadows in the event that I decide I want to go kill them. You have 19 champions, but they don't compare to mine. Mine are better. Okay, 75% war score. We can probably march on over here and unseige my territory nice and quick. Yep, three months is all we're going to need. They're running away. I know, I know. We're out of time. I need to be ending this video. Blah, 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 blah. I did say that we wanted to spawn an army. I didn't try that. We still need to try to do that. We'll do that next time. Don't worry. Some reason to tune in for the next video, right? And definitely next video, I'm going to do some jump cuts. I want to go fast on this. 99% war score. Oh, good lord. That's 100%. All right, you're going to pay war reparations to me or whatever. 95 gold? Thank you. This band, and there we go. The war paid for itself. Okay, well, that was fun. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would humbly ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.